Hello folks, it's Now Sarge, and today we're gonna to talk about Fractured Online and crafting, because boy, oh boy, is it confusing for new folks that come in. What I can tell you is hopefully by the end of this video, you're gonna be good to go. You're gonna have a general idea of how to craft, you know, kind of no matter what the item is. Uh, if there's any comments, if I make a mistake somehow inside of the video for, for folks that are watching, there's a comment section down there post, right? I mean, part of the thing we wanna do here for those that are enjoying the game, that are playing it, helping them be better at the game so they understand kind of what's happening. Okay, so let's kind of look at a couple things here. So the very first thing that we need to do is we need to go down to our book of knowledge, right? And your book of knowledge, you should everybody should understand what this is, right? It has a whole bunch of data in here, but what we really care about is weapons uh, in, in this particular thing. And this kind of goes across for everything, right? So whether it's weapons or it's armor, it's all pretty much the same. So if I look at the bow, that's what I'm using right now. I have crafted lots and lots and lots of primitive bows okay so i went into my inventory i went and looked i went to the crafting and building screen right i went down i looked at the primitive bow i said okay i need rope and i need branches and then i just kept crafting them uh i know they're going to be poor quality i don't care what i care about is through that crafting that this line where you see the primitive bow off to the left hand side of the screen that was zero of four, then it went to one of four, then it went to two of four, then three of four, and then now it's four of four, right? So like it continuously increases. Added As it increases, you'll see that the creation of the items starts off at poor, then it goes, I think it's good, um, then it's normal, and then it's like excellent or something like that. It kind of goes, in, or maybe it's normal, good, and then excellent, but it goes in that order to let you know that now you can do it. So now the confusing part is you're like, oh man, I'm good, right? I've done everything I needed to do. I've crafted, I've got this excellent quality. You go in, you go to craft your item and you, man, you're, you're stoked, right? Cause you're gonna have the best primitive bow that you've ever had in your life. But when we read here, if I look at the bottom, it says armors crafted from inventory is always a poor quality, right? It's a little, it's a little scary, but I just crafted it. Wow, okay, so it's not, of uh, quality of poor. If you look at it, it actually says the quality is normal. So you see light weapon, two-handed, and the quality is normal. So that means it went up. Well, I know now you're gonna ask the question, well, what the heck? If if you have it at excellent, why can you not craft excellent? Th this is why. So where you decide, so when you go in and you look at your map, you have the ability off to the right side to look at the territories, right? So here's the territory. When I look at the territory that we live in, this is the group that we fall under, right? So fresh ground is who we are aligned with, associated with. So we are settlers or citizens inside of this area. They are only at stage six. So the research level or the technology level for the location of where you're at will dictate what you can do. So when I look at what abilities that they currently have, and if I go into a screenshot that they provided earlier, we're still in kind of an early stage of what we need to be able to craft better weaponry, right? So we, I only have the, the ability to craft that next level up, which is that, that normal bow, right? I, I don't have good or excellent yet. As they continue to increase the, the main location, okay, which is gonna be right here. It's gonna be that shield with kind of the, uh, with the rook in it. When they finish making that, you know, seven, level seven, level eight, level nine, level 10, and they focus on the different armors and the different weapons, I then have the ability to craft a better weapon, okay? That's how it works. So you need to understand what the location where you're at, the territory, what level they are currently at and where they've spent their technology points or, or their research points so that you know what you can and can't craft. Now, there's a little bit more to this than just that. Everything on the inner circle are things that you have that you can craft right now. So if I go look all of these things that are right here, right? Or all the armors that are right here. These are all things that are going to be located on this inner circle. Anything that is on the outer circle, these are recipes. These recipes you are going to find whenever you go out into the world. Okay. So if I go out into the world, I battle, you know, big monsters, some of the legendary monsters, the elites and stuff like that. They have a chance to drop these items, right? Which then once I drop, we'll say for instance, if I drop this energy staff, because that's what I want, then I now have the ability to craft that item. And you guessed it, you've got to continuously rank that thing up as well to then get it from zero to four up to four to four, where it now becomes an exit quality, right? So there's a little bit of a progression, but you got to have the, uh, the recipe first before you can do that. 
There's actually a wiki that talks about the uh, the drop rates, right? It's an RNG based system. I'm going to link that down below in the description so that you can look at it and kind of read through it. I, I hope that this helps you. All the crafting, whether it's armor or weapons, kind of follows this exact same kind of tool tip. So you're going to be doing this for all of your things. So if you're sitting there going, what should I be doing? You should be crafting whatever weapons that you're going to be using. You should be doing that, that mass crafting right now to get that leveled up so that once that local governor and that group, and if you're the governor group, then you should be focused on this, expanding it so those inside of your territory can help you protect your territory. All right. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope it taught you a little something. If it did, hit that like button. Uh, please subscribe if you uh, if you have a little bit of time. I truly appreciate you. Hit the notification button. Uh, don't forget Monday through Friday, we're streaming on Twitch. And if you're looking for a group, man, come on over. Uh, we're at gilded.gg forward slash rally point. We'd love to have you. All right. To see now, Sarge, we'll see you on the next one.